Welcome back to Wizard Tower. I'm Wizard Colorado with another quick stream tutorial. Today we're going to be using the thermal printer and streamer bot to add a couple advanced features to the printer. First, we're going to add a coffee uh, tip alert. So if you get a tip through coffee, it'll print off on the printer. And I've also fixed the print a kitty feature, one of my favorites. So if you miss if you miss those little darling cats, we're going to get those back for you today. It's a little bit more advanced tutorial, so if you haven't seen the original tutorial on how to set up the printer, definitely check out the last video. I'll leave one of those little things up here. But let's go ahead and let's jump into it. All right, to start out, we're going to have to make a couple more actions in StreamerBot. First, we want to add the Kofi tip printer. Basically all I did for this was I copied the stream elements tip printer. So if you go in there and just duplicate that and you'll have a duplicate, I renamed it to the, the Kofi tip printer. You can name it anything you like, but I, you know, keep it, keep it simple for myself. I named it Kofi tip printer. And then what I did is I went in here and set the argument. You don't have to really change anything except for when you're setting the value you want to set that to Kofi donation. So you just go in there and type in Kofi donation, click OK. And the, the next thing we're going to change, because if you look over here, we have the set target info from tip user. This is basically telling you who the tip came from. And if for the Kofi, it is from. So the the action or not the action, but the, the information is from the variables from. So it looks a little weird because it's from from. But this way you can get the username to print out when when you get it. So just go ahead and ch change the variable name to from and leave that call from action the same. So basically all we did was change the value of this to the Kofi donation. And then we change the variable to from very very simple so that's that's the first step in there now what you want to do is go to wherever you've saved the to tools at this is this is going to be the bit more advanced portion of this because we actually have to add a piece of code for this to work so you want to go into the to tools we want to go to the stream printer and we want to go to the templates. We're going to change two files here. I'll make sure I have these, the, the information in the, you know, the information section, <laughs> the info in the info section, but we're going to go into the templates and we want to open this template file. So once we're in the template file, I use, um, a free program to kind of edit these. I don't even know the name of it. Uh, it's a Visual Studio Code. It's a free system, kind of, I just downloaded it so I can edit a little bit of code. So what we're gonna do, once we have that in here, what you wanna do is we're going to paste the information that I give you. So basically it's gonna be this, and I'll have this in the information area. So I kind of run through here and tell you what it's asking for, at least what I can, because I don't know how to code. This is just what I kind of glean from the information. So we've set the ID to the Kofi donation and then the Kofi tip. So this is what it's going to print out. It doesn't pull a user picture through the Kofi donation portion of it. So it's not going to print a picture out. So this portion right here, if user profile image, it'll it'll print the profile image. But if it doesn't have it, it just leaves that blank. And then it's going to print the currency. So from has donated. Remember, we changed that to from in the information area. We changed it to from. So it's going to be tell the username. And it's going to tell you what the currency symbol is, US dollars, how much it is. And then if they type a message in, because if you get a donation on Kofi, then you can type in a message in there and it will print the message out. So basically when you get it, it will look like this. So we got the Kofi tip, 
And the Wiz says, I donated to myself to make sure it worked yesterday. The Wiz has donated $1 in U.S. dollars. And then the message, this is a test donation. So this is basically what you're going to get with this information. So very simple. We're just going to paste this in there. So it's going to be this whole section right here. Just paste that in there. Make sure you save it when you're done. And then what we're going to do is go back to the stream printer. We want to go to this JS folder. And in the JS folder, there's a template. So we want to open that template up click open and then there's a bunch of code in here we're only going to add one little portion and this is what it's kind of telling you in in the streamer bot so we've we set it up and says set the argument source to Kofi donation so when it goes through there it finds the case Kofi donation and then it runs that thing that we just posted into the templates. So it says Kofi donation is the template. The template we made is the Kofi donation. You see right there. So it's telling it when you set the case, you it runs this action that we've we've copied in here. So in the templates, we're just going to paste this portion. And I'll, of course, I'll have that in their information too for you. And then just save that. And it's as simple as that we've got the Kofi donation set up and you can kind of test it if you want um, I've set up um, a Kofi test donation so it'll post into chat and I'll print it out but when you test it it will print um, a picture which will not happen in real life so if somebody actually donates on coffee you will not get a picture but when you run it through here it knows that I've or it pretends like somebody tipped you so it kind of fills in that information but just just so you, you know it works we can test the trigger and give it a second here it's gonna post in the chat it's gonna play a sound and it prints it out so then you can see that on this particular one, it shows the image, but you won't have this. It won't have an image when it actually prints. And there you go. A couple of things I forgot about. To set up Kofi in StreamerBot, you're going to have to sign up to the StreamerBot website and make sure you get a username or your login with your information. So we'll go down to settings once you're logged in and we're going to find the Kofi right here. It's going to give you this webhook URL. You want to copy that. And to get this a verification token, we're going to get that on Kofi. So if we go to Kofi, you go down to API. Make sure you're logged in on your information. You're going to paste that webhook right here. To get the token, you just click on this advance and it'll give you the token. Of course, I don't want to show that on stream because it is my token. But then you just go back to streamer bot the website here and we'll paste that verification token in there now you've got those two linked together and then after you got that we'll go back to streamer bot and make sure you go to integrations and you want to go to streamer bot website so you'll see all these different integrations you can do we want to go to streamer bot website and log in this way when you do get a coffee donation it will be registered through through streamer bot it's kind of a lot of things they got to do to set it up but once you got that all linked together we'll go back to the actions i set up just a kofi printer action for me i know we tested it um, to set up the the donation we'll just go down to integrations we find um the kofi and i selected Donation. You can also set a resubscription. So if somebody si signs up to you every month on Kofi, you'll get a notification for that. Of course, you can do different, different information on there. I only set up the printer thing for the donations, so I don't know what a resub and the commissions and those kind of things will set off. I mean, it might work, but what we set up is really for donations if somebody would like to about the resubscriptions and i can look into it but i really don't use coffee too much but we thought i'd make this up because someone asked me how you do it so you know
here we are. But once you get that, we got our source trigger. Simple as that. If you got any questions, definitely let me know. All right, to print the cat, it's kind of, it pulls information from a website. And the original one, this one right here, the random cat would go to a, a website and it would try to pull information from the website and print you on a cat. But for some reason, this no longer works. So we can go in there and we maybe, if you try to print it, it doesn't print. So I went in the code and kind of changed it around a little bit. So what we want to do is copy the print a waifu thing and then the print a waifu action. And we're going to change the argument of waifu. We'll rename it to print a cat or print a kitty or whatever you like to name it as. And then we're going to change the argument to cat. So we just change waifu to cat, click OK. Then it goes to call to action. Very simple to set up the action. And now we've got to add the code into those files. And these codes are saved in a different location than the last one. So we'll go back out to stream printer and we go to add ons. And what we want to do is open the add-ons source here. And I'm, I'm going to have this for you. So, so here's the template that it prints. So we'll see cat template. Um, you can change it so it doesn't say, you can say cat for, or you can change this little information right here between the H2, H2. The H2 is just telling you what font and stuff it's going to use. So it, it, H2 is the bigger font. And like you can dive in here and add your own if you want. Like I said, I'm not much of a programmer. I just was able to discern some of this stuff. So like you see, it says Kitty 4, and then it will print off, you know, it shows the user, whoever redeemed it, and then it will print the image. So what we're going to do, we're just going to copy this portion in here. I mean, we can do this and I'll copy this into the information. Just paste that into the HTML file, save it. And then we're going to go back to there and we're going to click on the other add ons one. This one's the JavaScript one. We're going to open that. And then this is where it pulls the information from. So this is the template. I'm going to have this into the information. So the function is the cat add-on. And this add-on name is cat. So when, we, when we're over here in StreamerBot, we've added the cat, set the argument to cat. So this is what information it's pulling from. Basically, it goes to a website here which is this cat does not exist where the original one went to but for some reason those links no longer work so on that website there's several directories there i think there's like five directories that you can pull images from each of those directories has up to five thousand cats on it so you there's quite a few different kitties you can print so i've basically set a couple of variables in here I don't know how I figured this out, but I was able to. So it goes to this website. It goes to a directory, which is a random number between one and six, which is this information right here. It four slash cat is part of the URL. Then the cat number is basically one through 5,000, 4,999. And that's one of the pictures it'll pick. So basically, it makes a URL um, source with this information. It randomly chooses one of those directories, randomly chooses one of the 4,099 cats, and then it will print out that image. So we're just going to copy. We're just going to copy this portion right here and paste it. Paste it in there. Save your file. And then when we go back, we can we can test it out. I have mine save as um, print a kitty here. So I'm going to test it out. And here we go. And I get a 
information in chat. Who, who redeemed it? It will print out one of those 4,099 cats. Very simple to set up. There we go. Like I was saying, we are changing the code. If you happen to change something else in there, it will break other things. So I definitely recommend saving it off to another folder outside the TO tools because it, it looks for those certain file names when you're when you're running those programs. So just save it off, then go in there, paste those in there, maybe play around with it, look around, see if you can discern some things. That's all I did. I really just kind of like looked at streamer bot, trying to figure out how how the information is pulled and how it works. I still don't know much about it, but you know, we're able to add a few things. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely leave a like or comment, say, hey, I appreciate that. Or if you have any questions, you can always hit me up on Twitch. I also stream on YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays, seven to 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So stop in, say hi. Uh, if you want, give me a Kofi donation and we can test out the printer there. You don't have to, that's just a joke. I just appreciate everyone checking out the video. Make sure, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get up to those thousand followers. You know, I've been making tutorials sporadically over the last two years. Hopefully I would go and start making more this year. So. Yeah, definitely, definitely give a smash that like if you want. You don't don't have to. I just appreciate you checking out the video. And until next time, whiz out.